What is happening, Pokemon Spirit Beta? My name is Hidden Power Normal, and this is my first time uploading to this channel. So what I've got for you today is a short but sweet NU battle against my good friend King Quags that I had the other night over Skype. And it's a really good battle in my opinion, so I'd appreciate if you stuck around to the very end, because it's a really close ending, it goes right down to the wire. So you guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, and if you have any constructive criticism, make sure you leave a comment below telling me how I can improve. Because I really want to improve as a narrator overall, because that's one of the good s skills to have. But um, anyways, if you feel the need to, come check out my channel, link will be in the description below. And let's just get on with the battle. So, he's just going to be leading off with his Stun Fisk. I'm going to lead off with my camera up, and turn one, I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rock. Because I know that he does have a sock on his team, and I wanted to say, well, that thing's sturdy, so I can can't switch in on attacks and live it with one HP and then I just get swept by a sock but um yeah he's just gonna go for the skull and I take that like a monster considering as it is four times super effective solid rock is a really good ab ability by the way and I'm just gonna send out my executor now and so pardon the really horrible nickname that is because I literally made this team like five minutes before the battle because I had like no new teams because I only just picked up black and white too and I'm going to go for the Leaf Stone, but I do miss. But we did have a battle before that did disconnect. And I actually ended up hitting that first Leaf Storm. So it's just going to be a kind sir and stay in and go for the Leech Seed. Just so it does make it uh, make up for me missing and keeps things fair. But now he's going to switch out and go into his Heat more, And that thing's just going to get demolished just like Tangular did by a resisted Leaf Storm. So hide your kids, hide your wife, Executor's coming around to eat your children with Leaf Storm, and um, even at minus two, that does a lot, <laughs> and uh, Executor's overpowered, well, it's, it's way too overpowered, I reckon, that's a Specs Leaf Storm, and that can like rip through teams, so I'm just going to set up my camera up to now, because it is my special wall of my team, and he's just going to go for the Giga Drain, I'm going to take that like a monster, I guess he was predicting that big pink, Pink, yeah, that big pink fish thingy to come in. I don't want to. I don't want to like mispronounce his name and look like a complete and utter retard in front of hundreds of people. So yeah, and I'm just gonna call it fishy for the rest of the battle. He's just gonna go for the leech. The why did I say leech seed? He's just gonna go for the focus blast. I'm gonna make a bit of a misplay and raw him out. And due to my misplay, I, he does get one of the two Pokemon I really didn't want to see, the other being Lapras, and I'm just going to send on my other fishy thingy, because I don't want to take a close combat to the face. I switched out there because I did see that I could leave one more Stealth Rock switch in, and I just may be hoping that I could get like a wish off, and like wish pass to it, but I was thinking that'd be kind of like obvious as well. So I'm just going to go for the wish here as I took that close combat like a monster, and um, I didn't want to switch out into camera up because that's a really obvious switch and I don't want camera up like dying for no reason just because he did predict me. So I'm just going to stay and go for the toxic because that is necessary in taking out Tangler unless you got like an a choice banded air wall which can just screw its face with choice banded flow bits. But um, anyways he does put me to sleep in hindsight I probably should have just switched and maybe have like camera up to sleep fodder because... As you'll see, it comes right down to the wire. If I wasn't asleep, it wouldn't be as close, definitely. So now he's just going to send out his heat more just to die, pretty much. Be oh, wait, no, what? Uh, sorry, I thought that I killed something. But, um, yeah, I guess he predicted my executor switch. And that does mean I'm going to have to fodder my camera up to now because I don't want to stay in and take a fire blast because I need executor to win the battle. And, um... Yeah, so now I'm just going to send out my Haunter. In hindsight, I did play this Haunter really badly, and that's why it really died quickly. So I'm just going to take it out with a Sludge Bomb. I just wanted for the Sludge Bomb instead of Hidden Power Ground, because I, I was thinking he might switch into Tangler, and either way, a Sludge Bomb will take him out. And I'm just going to go for the Sludge Bomb on this thing, because I figured he'd like overpredict and go for like the earth power or something, but he just, and since I'm a massive noob, I forgot that um, ground resists poison, so here I'm just going to go for the hidden power ground, that does a lot more, so, and by the way, I am expert belted, not like uh, choice specs, or choice scarf or anything, 
and he's just going to hit me with a discharge. So to my surprise, I live it, and to my surprise, I don't get paralyzed because literally every time a discharge happens, it's like a 160 base power move combined with Thunder Wave because they always get a crit and they always get a paralyze. But he was just going to go for the Scald, and seeing as I did not get paralyzed before, I'm going to get Karma by getting burnt now. And as you'll see, that burn will really come into play later. But I'm just going to wreck his face with a Leaf Storm, and that's just... Just, no, that's no chance of living that. Like, no way. I would have killed, like, 73 of those things. Like, no joke. But, um, he's just going to send out his BEM now. And I... Since I am at minus 2, I ran a quick damage calc, and it would only do, like, 60%. And right now he's at, like, 85% after Stealth Rocks, so... That's not going to really happen. So I'm just going to send out my Haunter's Death Fod. He does predict the switch. And yeah. See, if I had Haunter, this battle would have been a lot less close. But I'm going to send out my Exeggutor now. And as you can see, Stealth Rocks and Burn are really taking a toll on it. And he's just going to send out his Tangler to die. And I'm just going to fire for Leaf Storm. I really did not predict at all this entire battle. Like, the only turn was when I stayed in with Haunter. <laughs> and, um, because th with this thing, I didn't even go for any other move apart from Leaf Storm because it just wrecked his entire team's face. So now he's going to send out his Lapras, and I'm like, wait, I know what you're doing because why would you bring it in unless you had an Ice Shard? So I'm just going to switch into my Zeb Striker. I probably shouldn't have, in hindsight, again, I probably should have just switched to a Lama Ola. Wow, I said its name. And I sounded like a complete doofus. And um, I probably should have just tried to burn a couple turns of sleep, maybe wake up. Because that would have been definitely the smarter play to do. Because I knew it, he probably would have switched to sock. And then I could probably just stall that thing out. And it would have had like three or four turns to wake up. So, And as you can see, it's just an Ice Shard versus Thunderbolt War. And because Zeb Striker is incredibly weak, it's not going to do anything with its stab, super effective Thunderbolts. So, I saw in a smoke in RMT, it said, Zeb Striker is the best choice item user in NU. And after this battle, I'm like, no, it's horrible. And he's just going to send out his Sock now. And he's going to go for the, oh no, that's right, I had speed him because I am scuffed and he's scuffed also. And I'm going to hit him with a Thunderbolt and... I take that back, Zeb Striker is not that weak, it's just weak against bulky Pokemon. And yeah, he's just going to take me out of close combat. He said after the battle he probably should have switched to BM and taken me out then. But yeah, so I just, this sock pretty much outspeeds the rest of my team now. And I'm like, oh, if he's adamant I can maybe outspeed him with Jolly Swallow. But nope, that's not the case and I was had no intentions of living a close combat. So I'm just going to send up my fishy and I was just like, okay. I need to, I have two turns to wake up. If I can wake up in one of those two turns this battle, I can win it. So, first turn he's just going to hit me with a close combat, and I'm still going to sleep. That's fine, I never get the first turn wake up. Okay, so second turn, he's going to hit me with another close combat, and it will obviously not kill at that amount of health. And if I can wake up, I can win this battle. And I was kissing my DS screen, I was like, please wake up. I'll give you anything if I wake up. And I wake up, and during the battle, I just did a massive fist pump and screamed, yes, at the top of my lungs, because that's how excited I was. And, like, I just take him out the waterfall, because he's at, like, minus five. And now I was just going to send out his thingy, and I'm just going to go for the wish, because I did misclick. I meant to go for waterfall, so I could get some damage on it. And he's just going to take me out the psychic, of course, that's an analytic boosted psychic that hits like a truck. And now I'm just going to send out my Egg Tree, which is my last, and I'm going to take Stealth Rock damage and live with 14 health. And I hit my Leaf Storm because I have missed a Leaf Storm to win the game before. And this is going to be the game, guys, to all those people who stayed around till the very end. You get 50,000 cool points. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, come check out my channel, and I'm signing off. Peace.